Hello and welcome to America's Premier Experts. I'm your host, Mark Grimm. On America's Premier Experts, we interview the best and brightest minds in the world on solutions that can help grow your business or even change your life. Our special guest today is Chris Hearn. He is a small business lending expert, the CEO of Mercantile Commercial Capital. Chris, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Mark. Uh, you can still make money in this market. No question. Uh, uh, if, if you have the right knowledge and it, it, your opportunity is out there. Absolutely. For most, most small business owners, entrepreneurs, they just they never think about owning their own commercial property. And it's one of the easiest and smartest investments they can possibly do. One of the things you say that struck me says, pay rent yourself. That's right. What do you mean by that? Well, most business owners, they, they pay their landlords rent and get their landlord wealthy, but they never think about it. They're too busy putting out fires, their hair's on fire, they're mm -hmm. making widgets, yeah. all that sort of yep. stuff. And they never think about the fact that they can easily transform that rental payment into a mortgage payment. Mm -hmm. And it makes a huge, huge impact in their life. And you can see why that happens, Chris, because they're running their business, they're focused on the things they do well, but they're not necessarily into land management. So here they, you know, their office, they're paying that rent to that landlord every day. That's right. And you're saying, hey, wait a minute, guys, just think about this for a minute. That's right. That's exactly tell, right. Tell, tell us how you finance these kind of things. Well, the key is, well, first is, you have to understand this is, a, this is a profound idea that most business owners don't think about. The second thing is you have to do it with smarter financing. And so that's really what I specialize in. I actually finance 90% uh, loan to cost, which is something that most banks, if they're even a lending 90% right loan to cost, that means what? That means taking the entire project amount, uh, purchase price, closing costs, soft costs, putting it all together mm -hmm. and fi financing 90% of that amount. Okay. Which is usually uh, ordinary bankers finance half, uh, Excuse me, they, they finance usually a third to one half down payment uh, versus what we do. Isn't so. that, uh, but finan uh, financing 90%, isn't that a little risky though? It wasn't that the problem with the loan situation where uh, people weren't putting enough down, they were getting a little over their head? No, it's a, it's a different, it it's, different? It, it's a different thing because I'm only dealing with business owners and entrepreneurs and for them mm -hmm. it's, it's all about capital utilization. It's where can I actually stretch that dollar and make They're a They're spending the money anyway. That's right. right. On the That's rent. exactly right. Yeah. yeah. And we'll give you an example of some uh, real success stories you've had. Oh, I've, I've financed folks all over the country. We've just about any industry you can imagine. Most of the folks end up saving anywhere from 20 to 40 percent of their off their real estate facility expenses mm -hmm. when they finance it with us. Well, that makes you kind of popular with them. Right? Yeah, <laughs> sure it does. Sure. Wait a minute, Chris. Why didn't I meet you earlier, right? That's right. That's yeah. right. How do you find your... Uh, clients or customers? Uh, we, we are, we're very well known in the industry. Uh, we have a, about an 80,000 uh, newsletter following. Um, we're just very well known on, online. I do a lot of speaking, a lot of writing, different mm -hmm. things of that nature. It's a monthly news magazine mm -hmm. you That's have right. and it, it's mailed out. Yep. 80, uh, where do you get these 80,000? That's a lot of circulation. How did that just develop over time? It's developed over the last six years. We mostly market to business owner advisors, uh, so folks like commercial real estate brokers, mm -hmm. mortgage brokers, accountants, attorneys, things of that nature. Uh, your background. Mm -hmm. You work for Jack Welch, who was yeah. the legendary CEO uh, at uh, GE, That's uh, right. retired now. Uh, how did that experience shape your thinking? Well, I think what it did was, um, I mean, I worked in corporate America for a number of years, mm -hmm. and really, when I decided to get back into commercial finance, um, because that's what I did when I was at GE, uh, I wanted to make sure it was on my terms. Very similar to my to my audience, to my target mm -hmm. clients. Yeah, sure. Um, I wanted to be my own boss, I wanted to do it on my terms, and that's what makes me pretty unique. I'm not a uh, an employee banker who's been around for 20-some years, and I don't have any, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't have any understanding what it's like to make payroll every couple weeks, which is really what I do. Mm -hmm. So, for me, it was, it was a great experience. I did I learned a lot from managerial there, but once I've got on my own, I mean, it's it's one of those things. I just um, it's it's a profound experience to be able to do the things that I do, helping small business owners. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your company, Mercantile Commercial Capital. Mm -hmm. uh, how many folks are there employed there? Uh, we now have about 18 full-time employees, about six part-time employees. Mm -hmm. So you have to. Uh, apart from knowing uh, your business and knowledge, you have to run a business too, Absolutely. deal with the, the employees, the, all the things that the no question. small business owners and entrepreneurs deal with. That's right. And we have a major, very entrepreneurial spirit through my whole company. And I'm guessing you're not renting the building. <laughs> uh, I, ironically enough, I do. I get that question all the time. Mm -hmm. And the reason I do it is because I'm otherwise taking the capital that I, would, that I would be lending to people, to my clients, and I'd have to go ahead and put it down to buy my own property. So rather than do that, I'd rather just help oh, them make more sense for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, where do you see the, the market going uh, five, ten years down the road? Because this is something you're, you're following closely, the commercial market in particular. Well, the market, there's two, two things there. There's one is, as I think we're, we're becoming more of a nation of entrepreneurs. Uh, I think it, this, this economic downturn that we've run into, I think you're starting to see more and more people that really want to go into business for themselves. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a really positive trend for America. The second thing is, yeah, commercial real estate, I don't know that it's going to come down like residential real estate has in the last year and a half or so, um, but owner-user real estate, which is 
what I specialize yeah, in financing, yeah. uh, that's always going to be here. I mean, we, you and I drive by every single day by the properties that I finance all around the country. So it's, it's, I think it's going to hold up. It's not a problem. It's, it's really, I consider it sort of the, the next American dream. After you go into business for yourself, after you buy your own house, most of the time, the next thing you want to do is, is again, convert that rental mm -hmm. payment into a mortgage payment. Well, you, you hit a head. Yeah, if you're in business, you're going to have to have a location for that business. It for really comes part, down. Are yeah. you going to rent or are you going to own? That's right. And uh, the question is, well, we all know as homeowners, uh, what a difference is once you start paying the mortgage. Sure. You, you, especially if you have a spouse where you realize, wait a minute, if we combined our two rents together, we could actually be paying a mortgage and, and then building equity in our house. That's exactly right. You and know, then appreciate Nobody argues asset. with the idea of, right. of buying a home. The, right. the advantages are, are profound. Yep. But uh, typically, the business owner says, well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just pay the rent. I think it's partly because of distraction or inattention. Well, like what you're saying is, hey, I got an idea for you guys. Well, that's, and that's right. I have people all the time ask me when they first go into business, hey, how about I buy a commercial property and, and you finance it? I, usually I tell them, no, wait a good three to four years or whatever it is to prove your concept yeah. and then utilize some of that capital to go ahead and convert the rent payment into a mortgage payment. Then oh, it yeah. makes great sense. Oh, yeah, you don't want to buy it. You don't want to do it right You don't right. want to buy it. No. Find out maybe no. that, that business idea you had didn't work. Right, right. And then you're, you're, then you're in the real estate business. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, establish, well, the same. It's typically with renters after a while, you rent for a while and you say, I think I'm ready to buy. Right. And the same thing established the thing with the. Uh, are you able to lend on a, a nas national scale, international scale? Uh, nationally, yeah. Yes. We've, we've lent money from Alaska to Puerto Rico and everything in between. Mm -hmm. How are you able to do that? Uh, just again, it's it's one of those things that we just when we've become the experts of what we do. I think we do it better than anyone else in the country, and it's very easy these days to deal with a business owner who doesn't want the dog and pony show from a local banker. I mean, yeah. when you when you do what you say you're going to do time and time again over the phone, the fax, and the email, pretty soon you build that trust, and it doesn't matter if you haven't met them up in Milwaukee or you mm -hmm. know Texas or wherever it is, yeah. and it, it's fine. Yeah, I, when you talk about this niche, and you say, well, I'm Chris Hearn, I really know my niche. Right. Uh, this guy speaking my language, if you will, right. as opposed to someone who has a, a broader, uh, broader interest and broader niche. That's right. And, uh, I call that not being all things to all people. And uh, that's, that's what got all the banks into trouble, the zombie banks you see oh, yeah. sort of walking around like, uh, you know, Knights from the Living Dead or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're still standing tall and, and financing America's own business and, owners. And uh, you, you value education. You uh, have mm -hmm. a master's degree from the UPenn's Wharton School, sure, yeah. which is, for folks who don't know, is this very prestigious business school. And you're a Rhodes Scholar finalist, <laughs> which <laughs> they really don't hand those out like uh, M&M. No, so, no, they don't. So that's an indication. <laughs> this, this man's got game. Uh, yeah. Where would you like to see your business five or ten years from now? Where would I like to see my business five to ten years from now? I, I'd like to be the, the largest non-bank lender in America. I don't think now is a good time to get into the banking industry and dealing with all the follies that they're dealing with. Uh, I like to stay right on target, stay with my niche, and continue financing commercial property for business owners all around the country in the smartest way possible. That's where I like to see it's it. It's interesting, Chris, because uh, banks have had their trouble. Oh, they have, <laughs> yeah. no question. And they, they got into a lot of trouble, and you're, you're not a bank, but right. you're somebody who can find the the, the you know the financing well it's our it's yeah. our money we, yeah. we're a non-bank lender yeah. much like a GE capital mm -hmm. actually um, but but again we don't want I didn't want to be ever all things to all people so I, you know I like to say it's kind of like I didn't want to be like that Times Square vendor who opens his jacket up and yeah. says do you want anything on here or you want yeah. over Would here you like a watch there? yeah and I said, yeah and that's the problem you can, I can fry a watch on that I can fry a pancake on that watch right, <laughs> right. I mean but that's that's the problem that a yeah. lot of these bankers got into they they were never they were always generalists they were never specialists and you know, to this day and age, I mean, entrepreneurs, they need a specialist to really look out for their interests, and that's what we do. What is the, what's the best advice you can give to America at, at this time? Because this is, you're a money man, and yep. you obviously know it inside and out. What, what is the advice you can give to the public and to the government? Well, I mean, there's, we, we don't have time to go into all the advice I could probably give you, but I, I think what, what a lot of people have to understand is if they, if they believe in the long-term future of America, then now is the time for them to sort of you know, stomach up the courage and start buying some discounted mm -hmm. assets that are all around us. I mean, that, there's probably, this is a once in a generational time to get out there and buy discounted assets, whether it's commercial real estate or other businesses or what have you. It's just, it's amazing, but we have to, we have to reverse the psychology a little bit. The psychology is, is so terrifying right now. And, and, but this is where the money's made right now. This is the time where, where net worths are dramatically increased. Mm -hmm. And your website is the smart choice loan. That's right. Dot com. And it, it's an indication of, of what you, the value you see and what you're doing. Absolutely. It's yeah. the smartest choice. No so question. For people who are interested, that's where they go to find out more about right. the kinds of things that you're doing. Absolutely. All right, Chris, it's, uh, it's been fantastic having this time to spend with you. Thanks Obviously, for having you, me. you've laid it out for quite, uh, quite impressively. It seems to make a lot of sense for a business owner who's now uh, uh, you know, paying rent to somebody else when they could be paying it to themselves. That's right. Chris Herndon, uh, the CEO of, of Mercantile 
commercial capital. Thanks for being our guest. Thanks for being here.